Hi, my name is Jeffrey Sykes. I am the director of TechOps here at VMLYR. TechOps is short for Technology Operations. And if that isn't super clear what that is, a lot of places would call the team that um, we have their DevOps team. We don't call it DevOps because I am firmly convinced that DevOps is a way we work together. It isn't a team, it's a philosophy, it's a way we work. So what kinds of stuff does TechOps do? And a little bit more about myself. So first, I've been doing tech for about 25 years. I've been at VMLYR for about 12 now. Um, I have been doing tech for a long time, but I did that while I was also doing some graduate studies and things like that. Um, but this is how I paid the bills and I've enjoyed the problems I get to solve. So what is TechOps all about? Well, from the very beginning of a project, our team is working with developers and, and the AQ, the Automation and Quality folks and analysts, to figure out where the customer experience that we're about to build is going to live. Sometimes that means it's going to live in a private data center. Sometimes that means it's going to live inside of a public cloud, all kinds of different places. And what we're thinking about is what kinds of infrastructure is going to be necessary to deliver these experiences to the customers in a way that they're going to be happy with it. And it's going to have the resiliency and uh, the security and the scalability, all those kinds of things that, that you need so that the experience actually works the way folks expect it to. Part of that also means how are we going? beyond how we get the infrastructure, how are we gonna get the code that developers and other folks work, uh, write safely from source control into production um, and make sure that that is a really seamless process, that there's automation in place and that it doesn't take a lot of time and that it's safe. To that end, what we're trying to do is figure out how do we uh, make those deployments happen as frequently as possible so that they're smaller and that those small deployments have less risk than big deployments do. That allows us to shorten lead time. When we do that kind of work, we often find that that also means that we can recover um, faster if something goes wrong. And um, we have smaller failure rates when we actually make changes. So um, that's kind of what TechOps does. Um, what do I like about that? Well. At VMLYR, we work with lots of different clients from really small to really large. And um, when you get into problems that are for really large websites, uh, really large experiences with APIs and all kinds of things like that, the problems you're solving are actually really interesting because you have to figure out how can we make this thing that we're building secure and stable and make sure that it can scale to meet millions and millions and millions of concurrent visitors simultaneously. A couple of things that we built that are really exciting. Um, I really enjoyed when I used to get to work on the Premier League website, um, one of the top 100 sites in the UK, tons and tons of traffic. We've also helped um, Timo make their site um, better. When it was Sprint, they had problems with delivering the kinds of experiences they wanted to. We took them from deploying 10 times a year to where they could do 10 times a day if they wanted to. So really fun stuff there. Um, I like working at VMLYR because um, things change frequently. So at an agency, um, because we're building new customer experiences, we're innovating, we're doing all kinds of exciting stuff that way, that means that um, you get to work on fun brands and that what you're doing changes rapidly. So what I'm doing today is nowhere close to what I was doing 13 years ago. And I've solved lots of different kinds of problems. And I know that in the next six months, I'll be solving new problems. Um, a few other things just about what TechOps does. If you're interested in infrastructure as code, that is things like Terraform, um, Ansible, um, Puppet, Chef, those kinds of things, we do a lot of that. We do a lot of work around how applications get built and deployed. So um, a lot of work with tools like Jenkins or AWS Code Build or Azure DevOps or GitHub Actions to automate those builds and automate testing as well. Um, what makes me a good coworker and boss? So this is an interesting question they asked. Um, 
part of a, a big part of what makes DevOps work is that you have to have a lot of empathy for what other people are experiencing. That empathy and that collaboration that's part of DevOps carries all the way through in our entire team. It's essential to actually getting stuff done. We work, I have an amazing team of really, really talented folks, a, a diverse and talented team that have seen and solved lots of really interesting problems. On top of that, we have really interesting discussions, um, some of which are work-related, others of which are around fun topics like classifying food. Is this food a taco or a soup? And if that doesn't make any sense, um, join us and we'll explain why that is the two primary types. Um, if I was going to give advice um, or something fun about me or advice my past self, here's what I'd say. Um, Enjoy the new things that you get to do and don't get too excited about any one thing because what's most important is that you keep learning all the time. Um, one final fun tidbit about me is my wife is a Kansas State Senator. That's it. Have a nice day.